And we back. Today, I am making a trade with every single organization in winning championships. Yes, you heard that right. It's with an S. I have to make, I guess, 29 trades because I can't trade with myself over the course of three years, but I also have to maintain championships. So we have to three-peat while simultaneously making trades with every single team. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new. Let's get into it. We start off here, obviously randomly selecting our team. This is the one team we will not have to make a trade with, and we're getting the Denver Nuggets. Okay, so three-peating in the game of 2K is not very hard. Three-peating when you have people coming in and leaving is the hard part, and Denver is our team, and we have the first pick. Oh, snap. Obviously, this is all RNG, random number generator. I just got lucky. This is the second video this week, by the way, that I get the first overall pick. The last one was on Father's Day with our Father's Day rebuild. Go back and watch that if you haven't already. So, um, the luck will run out for sure, but I'm going to appreciate it while it's here. All right, are we getting Giannis? Are we getting Luka? It's Giannis. Whoa, okay. All right, so let's spin a wheel because that's the way it works. I'm going to spin a wheel however many times in season one, season two, season three, whatever, as long as we get 29 at the end and whatever team we land on, we have to make a trade with that team in that moment. First spin, first team we're making a trade with will be the Detroit Pistons. Okay, this is interesting because every trade that we do is not going to be a super blockbuster. I would argue that majority of the trades that we do won't, but I'm not about to just be rotating through my 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th man every video because it's kind of a lame cop out. It will happen sometimes, but I will be making big time moves every once in a while. We got D Rose here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. All right. I got a couple Chicago kids that, I, you know, uh, legit. We got Jaleel Okafor. We got Ayo Dosumo. We got Derrick Rose. So we have to make a trade with the team. They don't really have a ton of people that we'd want. I think Kyle Anderson could be a guy that we'll take. I didn't want to edit them. We'll take them on the team and then use them in a future trade. My goal in a lot of these trades that's like this on this level is to try to get assets that I, I think can be valuable in a big time blockbuster. What do we give up to get here though? Markel Fultz is the piece. I'm going to try to get a pick in it with Markel. That pick is super valuable. They want Alex Lynn and they want this year's pick. I'll prefer not to give you this pick, but I'll give you Alex Lynn. They want a best swap now. I would prefer not to do that. But instead, you give me back this pick, you know, something that's a little bit less valuable. You can have Alex Lynn. They want this lottery protected very bad. And I'll just take those two first round picks, please. <laughs> Hold on. We're going to make this deal happen. They really want this lottery protected pick. They're giving us two first. So it's not that big of a difference. We'll do that deal. Detroit is off the table. It's done. Was that a good trade? I don't really know. We did give up Markel Fultz, who is a young up-and-coming player. We got uh, Milwaukee Bucks next. Let's see if the Bucks got, man. You know, we got Giannis. We have the possibility of getting DeAndre Aiden, Miles Bridges. Second time in a row where we got a team that is extremely young. They don't really have anything. So this is one of those trades that I'm be honest with you. We go into the bottom of the barrel and trying to just take somebody to get the trade over with. Because look at this roster. There's nothing here that I would really want. Like I said, this is a 3 P challenge. So I don't want to bring in Anthony Simons because I know I got to pay him at the end of the season. And then all of these other contracts don't even look good. If I'm trading for somebody, it might be Juan T. Get a first round pick and Juan T for Jetty Osmond deal. Two trades in and we haven't done we haven't done anything but getting more assets. I'm telling you, we're going to land on the Boston Celtics who going to have a star player. And this is the big one, I think, maybe. Boston is going to have Zach Levine last year of his deal. I see Fred Van Vliet here. Anthony Edwards is an interesting one. I don't believe we have the assets to get Anthony Edwards. I thought about it mostly because, like I said, it's a 3 P challenge. And I feel like in year two and year three, he's going to be a stub. But they know that as well. That's why they're not going to trade him to us. Fred Van Vliet is a possibility. They want Jamal Murray. They want Jamal Murray. They want Wiggs. They want Jalen Green. And see, this is a trade that I could get behind. Young player, Jalen Green. One of the first round picks that we got. But we have extras. Fred Van Vliet. Welcome to the team. Now, I understand that we already got Jamal Murray. So, you could probably expect one of these two players to be traded in one of the future trades. Three trades done. Only 26. Only, only 26? 26 to go. And I'm looking at Wiggins on my team. NBA champion. I He's going to get traded. I'm going to be honest with you. Nobody is safe here other than Giannis. All right, Lakers. What we got? Chris Paul. Chris Miller. We got Chris's. Aaron Gordon. Al Horford. Ugh. Why does every team look like they suck? I haven't seen a single team. I'm like, oh, that's a championship contender. We ain't got that just yet. Is Jonas Valanciunas the center we want? We'd be sending out Alpin Sengun, who's a stud 
but he's also a rookie and our challenge is to three-peat. I don't have time to help him develop Cal Anderson. I thought we threw Cal Anderson in a different trade, but I guess we didn't. Didn't we throw him in a... No, we traded for him. See, look, now, and we got a first-round pick. Giannis Valentunas, welcome to the team. I don't know if you're going to be our starting center, but I like the idea of you and Giannis together, mostly because at one point in last season, Giannis Valentunas was leading the league in three-point shooting. He was actually shooting that thing last year. And his overall three-point rating is an 80. And we talking about my starting center potentially opens up the game more for Giannis. It's exactly what they did with Brooke Lopez the year they won the championship. Now, obviously, Giannis is not the defender that Brooke Lopez is, but that's why we got Giannis to defend and guard all five players. We'll see if that works out. We might have found our starting center in Jonas Valanciunas, at least in year number one. We're going to the Miami Heat. Heat culture, heat basketball has Shea. Y'all know my opinions about trading for Shea. It's about as easy as could get in most cases. And in a lot of these cases, it's the right move to do. I said Wiggs has to go probably. In this case, Jamal Murray, we don't need all of these guards. But I forgot his contract don't even kick in to next year. So even if I wanted to do this trade, I'd have to like... Oh, man, if I want to do this trade, I got to give up quite a bit. No, just like that. It could be just like this. Obviously, that's not going to be enough. I'll give you Jalen Noel. They want Amir Coffey. They give us Jalen Johnson, Shea Gillis Alexander for basically Jamal Murray. We get the younger player, I mean, by a year. Let's, let, let me stop acting like Jamal Murray super old. But I know that Shea be hitting a 90 overall club after one season. I haven't had Jamal Murray on the team, uh, on my teams enough to see what his progression is. But a max contract player, Shea could be that. And we kind of saving money for this year's rebuild because Shea doesn't really make any money this year. He's still on that rookie deal of $5.5 million. So that's a steal. All right, so is that five trades now? Something like that? Our team is still not good enough to win a championship, if you ask me. But now we're going to talk to OKC, who's going to have that wing I want. If I'm making Wiggins money, Wiggins is making more than Tatum, by the way. If I'm making Wiggins money, I want a superstar. And this is an avenue to potentially do that. I'll give them DeMarcus Cousins. I will also give them in this trade Jalen Johnson, who's a young, valuable player. You could get you could give us back Skylar Mays. You know, we got assets. We got this Lakers pick that's two star value. We got this Nuggets pick that's one and a half star value. We got the Bucks lottery protected that's not value. Okay. If I want to get Tatum, I'd have to give up more, which is which makes sense. He's Jason Tatum, right? You know what? Let's do reverse trade finding. They probably gonna be like, we want Shea and Wiggins. They gonna watch they say Shea and Wiggins. I'm, I'm betting a lot of money on that. Oh, they said they want Giannis. Which is even worse than asking for Shea and Wiggs. Stop. So if that's the case, let's just get some stability at center. We bring in Daniel Gafford. I am saving Wiggins for a superstar wing or close to superstar wing. I don't know how many trades we've done, but so far, you know, good progress, I would say. Brooklyn Nets is next. This will be our eighth trade. And we, I don't think we've made much progress. So let's try to kick it into gear just a little bit. Brandon Ingram. Wiggins for Brandon Ingram. They're, they don't like that enough. That's why we, we, get, we give you Jalen Johnson. Oh, okay. Brandon Ingram. Now, the overall wasn't that much different, but I am a, I'm a big Brandon Ingram fan. I like Wiggs as well, but I like Brandon Ingram more. You can argue in the comment section what that means to you. But as of right now, I think that our star lineup looks pretty good. We got B.I. Fred Van Vliet, um, Shea Gillis Alexander with Giannis and Jonas Valanciunas. I'll be honest with you. Freddie, love him, but I don't know if he's my starting shooting guard for a championship team. We might flip it just because Shea can guard defenders a little bit better because he's 6'6". But the starter lineup looks cool. I even like that we got Jordan Clark to come off the bench, one of the premier top six men in recent NBA history. We also got Daniel Gafford as a backup. So if I can do one or two more trades this season to get the improvement to the end of this bench, we feel good. But we got to get it. We got to get it. I'm thinking like backup wings. You know what I'm saying? We, we, you can never have too many wings. And that's um, B-dubs' model. You cannot have too many wings. G give me the 40 piece, please. And I'm going to down all of it. Uh, Trail Blazers. Let's see what we got with the Blazers. We got like Rui Hachimura, who I don't know if I've ever had in the video, at least in recent history. But I'm interested because Rui can hoop. Like he's a real, obviously, you know, he's really good at what he does. But he missed like a ton of the season with some personal matters and stuff. So I would love to try to get him on the team. The only problem is that $4 million, I don't know how the heck we make that happen. Yeah, I don't think we can make it happen. So, okay. All right. I guess we, hey. I don't have no time for no arguments. Big long shotgun. Look like Laurie Marketing. Now nah, they want Jordy, uh, Jordan Clarkson. They bugging. I'm not giving them Jordan Clarkson. Not, not like that. I'll give you this Bucks pick. They want two picks. They'll give me a pick back. Sure. Laurie, come on, man. Get some shooting on that bench. Now, the, 
Defensively, the bench ain't looking good. It's actually looking like a version of the Chicago Bulls from a few years ago with Daniel Gafford and Larry Marketing. But if we get one more person, because I think Larry's a small forward, if I could get one solid defender off the bench, I feel pretty confident and this season remember this is a 3p challenge so i gotta kind of take it relatively slow i can't trade every one of my my first round picks this year because we need them for the next two years you know so let me fill out our roster with like nba champion amani bielitsa and nba champion marcus all marcus all is one of those players that i was extremely happy to see him win a, a championship a few years ago so shout out to him minnesota i hope minnesota has jared vanderbilt i know it's not real life but jared vanderbilt would be the perfect person to have on my team at this moment does he play here? He absolutely doesn't. Harrison Barnes does. Mitch Robinson does. Um, hmm, I said I wanted somebody that can defend. And there is Patrick Williams, but at a 74 overall and all the potential, he's not going to be worth the trade assets. I honestly think that Minnesota is one of those teams where we just do a trade. It's not going to be anything that impacts our team too much. All right, B-Ball Paul in a second. Shh. Makai Lucas on the team now. Yeah, I need one more. I'm sorry, I need one more. There is no limit to how many I can do in one season. I definitely need one more if I want to repeat. The first year and the last year, obviously, are the most important ones. Actually, that doesn't even make sense. All years are important. The objective is to 3P. You need to get it every single year. No, there's no such thing as most important. Spurs, though. I just need a team that has a young, because young just means a lot of the times cheap. That's This is the exact player that I need. Jay Sean Tate, the savior of the challenge. Nemanja Bielitsa. And then also give you um, Gorgi Zhang. The, the contracts don't matter. Bro, y'all so over the cap that that's, that's putting y'all over? All right, I got two seconds, and that's the final offer for Jay Sean Tate. I'm standing on that hill. Okay, I'll give you first. I know this is what you want. I'll give you a 2026 first. Matter of fact, y'all bugging. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch well, the reverse trade find just have something infinitely better for us as an organization. JK. Jay Sean Tate is the perfect NBA player. And... and that's why I personally want him on my team, but that's the reason why they don't want to trade him away to me. Oh, snap. He's making the right amount. Okay, this is the right amount of money, too. But I don't want to give... Desmond Bain. Desmond Bain. No, I can't do it. I... Jay Sean Tate is a guy I need, but the but the trades are insane. Dang, bro. Uh, Catavius don't make sense because of the money. Devin Vassell is too young, so he's going to be valuable. Duncan Robinson's money is crazy. All right, Marcus All. Um, um, I'm done, bro. I said I wanted another wing, but at this point, we're not going to get it. We're running a legit eight-man rotation. My word to y'all, don't, don't, don't be bad. First game of the season is a win pretty convincingly, okay? I forgot we had Giannis. We're fine. It don't matter. We was running a three-man rotation. If one of those three is Giannis, we're going to be in a good spot. You know, we were just given a, a complete cheat code by having Giannis on the team. First overall pick vibes. Defensive player of the year. You remember I was talking about, oh, Giannis don't play defense like Brooke Lopez. It don't matter because Giannis is the guy. Most improved Trey Young. That's, that's, huh? <laughs> Uh, from tw I mean, from 25 to 36. I mean, every number was statistically went up. He even shot better from the field on a higher volume. So, do your thing. Man went from, what? Weren't you All-NBA like two years ago? Yeah. Oh, no, that's this year. So, no, he's never been All-NBA. But he went from an All-Star to e even being better and now winning most approved. That's, that's a great case. I don't even remember who else is on our team. I think Shea is there? Yeah, so Shea, Brandon, they oh, our team is kind of stacked. Oh, our team is stacked. All right, let's get it. We're going against the Clippers in this first round. The Clippers have CJ, Buddy, Kawhi. Oh, snap. Kawhi's a demon. Game one, but they are still the eight seed at the end of the day. So don't, don't get too afraid. Kawhi can only do so much. Am I right, fellas? And even he's not having that great of a time because Brandon Ingram's length on that perimeter is too much. And just like that, we added the first round to go against the Houston Rockets who have LaMelo. And Jared Allen. LaMelo and Jared Allen lob, th like, lob chemistry probably on the next level. So be looking out for that. I low-key would put Giannis on Jared so that he negates the lob and then let Giannis kind of roam on Kyle Kuzma. Uh, but I'm not the coach over here. I'm the general manager, you know. I'm the, Oh, I'm actually the coach too. I am about to go in and just normalize these minutes. Okay. All right. Just get Giannis more minutes. There we go. Yeah. You know, just give Giannis the most amount of minutes. He played 40 and it wasn't even a great game shooting the ball wise. But hey, you give us five offensive rebounds. You give us 18 total with six assists. You you doing pretty solid. 2-1, 3-1. And now we go against the 2C Memphis Grizzlies. They have Luka. Hmm. A guy that we could have drafted, but he probably went second overall. Have they lost yet? They Oh, they went to a game seven with the 7C. So should we even be worried about them at all? 
Well, it's Trey Young versus Luke in the playoff series. It's kind of cool. All right, let's get it. Game one in this series is a Denver Nuggets win by five. Close game right there. Game two is a win by a little bit more than five. Game three is a win by two. Oh, my God. They stayed in the series even though they got swept. The good old um, Brooklyn Nets to... No, okay, this game don't count. They almost lost by 40 in the elimination game. And Luka gave them 40. Nobody else did anything. If you want out, just call our phone because we have the assets potentially to make you and Giannis play together. Fred Van Vliet in that game went crazy. And now we got Detroit. Nope, this is... Now we got Brooklyn. It, that was not Detroit basketball. Wiggins! Wiggins versus Brandon Ingram in the, in the finals. And we traded you away. Your opportunity to get revenge. We looking at your stats directly with Brandon Ingram. Brandon had the better game one. Game two, Brandon had the better game th two. Come on, Wiggs. Come on, man. Don't you supposed to be making us regret it? 15 points versus 20 points, seven rebounds, eight assists. Wiggs, man. Well, you were supposed to make us regret. Oh, you had a big game and you fouled out. But I mean, he was our third leader scorer and had the same amount of points on better efficiency. So, Wiggs, you know. Maybe next time. Maybe next time you can make us feel some type of way about it. But right now, nope, we did our thing. Okay, so we traded with our picks, so we don't have that. But y'all know I'm a guy that likes to make trades in the offseason. So let's go spin our wheel. Because we still got a decent amount of trades to do in these next two seasons. Right? Two, yeah, two seasons. So we have your Orlando Magic next. So we got Jaron here, who could be interesting. Lou Dort. I'm adding Lou Dort to my team. We were looking for, like, People to come off our bench and play defense. Even though he's on a, he would be on the last year of his deal and we'd have to pay him next season if we keep him around. Lou Dort is a stud, man. And him at uh, 79 overall is kind of a steal, I think. I'm going to trade Jordan Clarkson in this trade, mostly because he's 30 and I've seen what the other side of 30 looks like for Jordan Clarkson in the game of 2K. So if I can somehow sneak out of here with that, but they have a lot of money tied up to some, some other people, they're obviously not going to say yes to that. They want two first round picks. Oh, they are. They, hey. Don't actually, I don't even want to make a trade with you no more because you try to take advantage of me, and I'm not a fan of that. We'll give you Sweet Makai Lucas there, and then we'll give you the ninth, sec, second round pick. Nine, okay, cool. Now we got Lou Dort, so that is our trade with him. And Lou Dort on the team that also has Giannis. Come on, man. I'm recording this video Wednesday night before the NBA draft, so some of the people you see me trade for today might have got traded by the time this video is out, which is crazy. I know, because I know Lou Dort is in some rumors right now. You know what I'm saying? He might be on a different team when it's come out. 76ers are next. They got Steph Curry and Draymond Green. The boys will not get away from each other, but they also have Mikael Bridges. Our starting small forward this season was Brandon Ingram, but I guess Mikael can run shooting guard. You know what's funny? I think Brandon Ingram might be able to run shooting guard too. What's Brandon Ingram's secondary position? Oh, it is powerful. Bro, I swear to you, I did not make this up. A few weeks ago, I was doing a video and he was a shooting guard. And now he's small for center. Oh, small for power four. Freddie, you might have to bite the bullet on this one if we do this trade. It's for the, with the 76ers. You might be the high overall now, but you're on the last year of your deal. While Mikhail is under contract for multiple seasons, and he's a bigger contract. So even though he might not be here to stay for the next two seasons, it just makes sense for us. Um, we're already set at point guard. Who do you have? Oh, you have Steph Curry. <laughs> oh, that's so hilarious. Because, yes, you are set at point guard. But Fred Van Vliet is not a point guard anymore. So, what are you going to say about it now? They want a first, and they'll give us Justice Winslow. Fred Van Vliet. St starting small forward of a basketball team over there. All right. So, I don't know. Who's my shooting guard? I'm making Brandon Ingram the shooting guard just because he has more ball handling ability. Definitely more of a playmaker than Mikhail is right now. And probably forever. I mean... We're talking about Brandon Ingram. That guy's extremely good at creating shots for other people. Do I have room for one more? Let's do one more. Off-season trades are a lot easier to do than in-season trades. So I said one more. Maybe it'll be maybe it'll be more than that. Pelicans. Jokic. Tyrese Halliburton. Mmm. Okay. All right. This thing got a couple little pieces that I could be interested in. For sure. For sure. For sure. For sure they do. Chris Dorte on the contract that he's on. I mean, Justice is just one overall less. They want a second round pick. Chris Dorte on that contract, that rookie scale contract. Oh my God, I kind of didn't realize. Oh my God, I kind of didn't realize how this was looking. But Larry Markin is a power forward, y'all. He's just, he's a power forward. Put him over there at the four. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So now we got Lou Dort, Chris Dorte, and one of them could probably be shooting guards. I think there's one more spin. And the reason I'm saying that is because I still got Jordan Clarkson. And my goal is to kind of trade Jordan Clarkson. Maybe it's for a backup point guard. We don't have one of those. So he's making like $13, 14000000 million. We need a mid-tier 
point guard from the Wiz. Things have gone very great. That's not it. Okay, so we should look past point guards. It's also a problem with the off seasons that you're gonna get to those teams that don't have a lot of people under contract. So I'm kind of forced to trade for one of these guys. We got Herb Jones. They want us to give up a first round pick in that trade. I don't want to. I will straight up do Herb. Oh, it won't work that way. They need to make up 10 million. Who is paying for Con Corkmans that much money? Oh, it's only 5 million. They really want Chris Dorte. Would I rather have Terrence Mann and Chris Dorte? 25 years old. Terrence Mann's probably the same. Yeah, they're about the same overall. I'm also getting Herb Jones, who's one of my favorites in the NBA. We'll make that trade happen. We got a backup point guard. Chris Dorte was a part of the previous trade, but we flipped him and got Herb Jones, who y'all know if you've been around here for some time, I've been a Herb Hive person for a long time. Jonas Valanciun is dropping overall, and he's on the last year of his deal. So the next spin I do, hopefully we get a new starting center or we run Giannis at center. I don't really know, but he cannot be here because he won't be here. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to have to pay him in the off season and we won't have the money considering you see who's on our team. We got Shea, we got Giannis, we got Mikael Bridges. We have all these people, Brandon Ingram, who are under contract for multiple, multiple years for decent sized contracts. We have to do what we got to do. And part of doing what we got to do is spinning the wheel. Come on, give me a team with a good center. I don't need no superstar center, just a really, really good center that's under contract for multiple years. If Jared Allen is still here, which is unlikely because we just saw him play with LaMelo, Jared Allen is the person I want. Can I just say that aloud? I want Jared Allen on the team. And somehow we still have 14 trades to do? How is that even possible? I feel like I've done every trade. Nope, 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 <laughs> no. I, I said no. This is a trade that we're doing on basically nothing. I've done some big trades. I've done some small trades. This is a small trade one because there's nothing else on the team that I really want. So I'm I'm talking about Vernon Carey Jr. for next. We're not stopping this wheel until we get a new center. I'm just telling you that. We got the Chicago Bulls. About time. I'm saying that like I know who's on their team. I don't know who's on the Bulls. But I'm assuming they're really good because they're the Bulls. They got LeBron. Um... Window Carter can be my new starting center. Low key. I would do that trade in a heartbeat. They probably won't. Yep, they won't do that in a heartbeat. But um, I'm going to give you Vernon Carey Jr., who obviously is pretty good. We got this Trailblazer pick. And then one more pick is the most I could give you, bro. Ah, you're, you're, you're pulling teeth right now. You're pulling teeth out, man. Is there anybody else that's not a rotational player that we could potentially give up in this trade? Terrence Mann, low key. But even then, they're saying, no. okay, 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 okay. Cool to see Wendell Carter back with the Bulls because low-key miss him. Let's do reverse trade find to see what they say because Brandon Ingram, Shea, they crazy. They're crazy. Steven Adams is not worth it. They want Jonas Valanciunas, but they'll give me a pick. You know what? I'll do this deal. I'll do this deal mostly because of the pick. The contracts are basically the same. The length of the contract is basically the same. I just traded for a first round pick basically. And I got a player that's a little bit worse. But either way, hey, either way, either way, extra asset, extra asset to throw to the Phoenix Suns. Bro, where are all the centers? Bro, I'm not stopping this spin until we have a center, bro. A good center. Tristan Thompson and a, to get a first round pick? Sure, just give me the assets, bro. This feels weird to just be spinning this wheel and landing on teams and trying to snag players because like four of the last five feel like they've been nothing trades. And I apologize, but I'm looking for something. Or I'm just gonna have Giannis run center if we don't get it here. There's Joel and B. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going through that. We know they're not giving us Joel and B for that. But Ben, on the other hand, they want Terrence Mann to give us Josh Primo. I'm not really interested in that. Get Kevin Porter Jr. What's that? We're already set at power four, but you just said you wanted the D. Okay, let's let's ask them this. They're going to say we want that. Ben Simmons, welcome to the team. Giannis is the starting center of this championship caliber team. We're moving Ben Simmons over to the four. Nobody's scoring on us. So it's Shea, Brandon, Mikhail, Ben, and Giannis. I mean, fellas, that's, that's pretty good. We even got Lou Dort and... Some stuff off the bench. Don't worry about the bench. Giannis goes back to back. He got Defensive Player of the Year too. I think this is the exact same record we got last year. And Giannis is the best center in basketball. What could we say? That's over Jokic. That's over Embiid. I mean, not Embiid. Adebayo. Adebayo took it from Embiid. Oh, snap. Where JoJo at? They should have just traded me JoJo since he wasn't going to make all... He could have made all NBA over here. All right, so we're going to see Utah Jazz in round number one. They got John Morant and Zach Levine, Franz Oh, that's a nice team right there. That's a nice young team. Zach Levine is the vet though. And an 80 overall player, I mean, let's go look at him. He might've been the first overall pick. Fifth overall pick and he's an 80. That's pretty good, bro. This team is youthful as heck. Dennis Schroeder is the oldest guy on the team. And then you got Michael Mulder who's two way. Justice Winslow. So we made a trade with them earlier to give them Justice Winslow. We win one, two, they're the eighth seed. 
It's rare that I feel threatened by the eight seed. You got to take at least two games away for me to stop simulating with fast speed if you're the eight seed. Five seed, on the other hand, has Luka. All right, yeah. So this is a team we went against last year. Still super, super young. We're better at across everything except for Luka's position. We're just objectively the better team. And they fell off because I think they were the two seed last year. They were the four, five seed this year. And they barely got out of the first round. We're not worried about it. But now we go against the T-Wolves. Trey Young, Cade Cunningham. Huh. It's an interesting, interesting backcourt. Let's see how this goes. Oh, 2-1, 3-1. 3-2. Oh, my God. I'm, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we are doing seven-man rotation. And we are simulating. Simcast. I don't even want to look, bro. I don't even want to look. Why is it so slow? Okay, fastest. There we go. Come on, man. C come on, Denver. Stop playing around. We got too many talented players on this team. I don't even know what happens to the video, by the way, if we don't win this game. Luckily for us, it looks like we're getting out there with a win. Okay. Yeah, so like we lose in year two. Do we even do year three? I don't know, but Brandon Ingram is the is the guy. Giannis, our MVP, fouls out in 22 minutes. Thank God Brandon Ingram, Mikael Bridges, and Shea are just the men. Look at the look at the Ben Simmons line as well. Everybody picked up our MVP when he had the worst performance of his life. I'm assuming that we're about to go into this series versus Steph Curry, Draymond Green, and Fred Van Vliet, starting small forward Fred Van Vliet. Um, I cannot believe this team ready to the finals <laughs> with Freddie starting at small four. I need Giannis to absolutely dominate. He averaged 26 and 16. We'll take those. We are one championship away and I think seven or eight trades away. So we, oh, what did I just accept? 11 people to the All-Star game? Don't matter. With that many trades, we might have to completely reorchestrate our team because we can't just do the last minute of the rotations for, for that long. You know what I'm saying? I'm the Nuggets. I think I traded away all my picks. I did. Okay, cool. Let's get some offseason trades, man. These are the only teams that are left. And that's a lot. We got to do all of these teams this year. Um, Tor uh, Toronto Raptors. Cool. The Raptors have KD and uh, you see they have nobody under contract. It's like it's Kevin and nothing else. So my options right now are to simulate through free agency. Let them get their own people back. Um, I'm bringing back pretty much everybody because you're trade assets. Let them get their people back, then make a trade with them tomorrow or <laughs> when we get to the regular season. All right, so let's go talk to the Raptors now that they have a full roster. They pretty much brought everybody back, just at different prices. This team sucks. Patrick McCall in the first round pick. Okay, I do want to make a big time trade though. I got so many players making so much money. Maybe the Warriors have the pick. The Warriors have book. They have... A decent amount of good players. Wow, they got so many cons. They have four people making 30 plus million, and two of them aren't even 80 overall players. Sheesh. Can we do a Ben Simmons for Pascal Siakam swap? They want a first, they'll give us a better first. What if I also finesse you for something else too? Give us two first. Because it seems like y'all really want him. Okay, they don't. And now they don't even want that trade. What the heck? You offered this to me. All right, we got a deal. I traded one of our big, big, good players. And we got back Pascal Siakam, who's also really good, as you know. But even Pascal ain't safe. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. We still got a decent amount of trades to do. We're going to the Utah Jazz. Who have Zach Levine. Are they going to give us Jordan Wara? Uh, now let's cash in some picks. One pick. Two, two pick. All right. That's all it took. Now, we are losing a little bit in the defensive department because we gave up B.I. No, we didn't give up B.I. We gave up Mikel Bridges and Ben Simmons, who are both all defensive caliber player defenders. So that might come back to bite us when it comes to like trying to win this last championship. But we had to do what we had to do, man. Shake some things up. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How the heck do we still have eight trades? I mean, 29 is a ton of them, but I feel like we've done 25, bro. I'm going to do this trade. And the reason I'm doing this trade, Josh Primo didn't play for us last season, even though he got a little bit better. How is he only 20 years old still? Daniel Gafford was getting traded in the next trade, I think. So we get a center that's cheaper. We also get Matisse Stiebel. Say what you want about him. He defends. And like I said, we gave up some defensive players a couple trades in a row. So that's the deal. Atlanta Hawks. Sabonis so is your best player? I'll pick up Drummond. Yes, I'm throwing Matisse into a trade, even though I just said I really wanted him. We got Drummond. And yes, I know I just traded for a previous center. But like I said, we still got one, two, three. We still got six more trades to do. I'll just make some room for, you know. Right now, we should be looking for a small foreplay of any sorts and a backup point guard. Cannot believe we're still here, though. We've been we've been recording for some time, huh? New York Knicks. And you know what? In the first year, I was thinking to myself, I'm doing a lot of trades year one. I should have done it 
like evened it out. You know what I'm saying? Do this amount of trades here, this amount of trades here, but that's not the way it works. The only problem now that we're three years into the future is every team paid so much money to random players were like, some of the contracts is going to be so hard to trade for. Like, no matter who I throw into a trade finder, basically, they're going to want one of the star players. Jaden McDaniels, though, is an, is an upgrade, and they're throwing us a pick? Sure. That's for the bench power forward, because we didn't... We had Jordan Wara, who's actually progressed pretty good. Shout out to Jordan Wara, but he can't, he can't defend the way Jaden McDaniels potentially can, even though Jaden McDaniels is, like, my weight. Uh, he's still a good defender. Okay, he's still, he's still got 40, 50 pounds on me. I ain't gonna lie to you. But in NBA terms, 6'9", 180 is pretty skinny. All right, Pacers basketball. What do we have? Colin Sexton making a little bit of money. Okay. All right, I see, I see y'all out there trying to make a little cash, make, a, make it work. Oh, I already know who I'm going to get. I saw on, on their team. I mean, I'm not even thinking twice about it. I'm gonna do a reverse trade finder, see if they think about it. But like, come on, man. That's an easy trade. That's an easy trade. I'd rather have Jared Vanderbilt than uh, Jaden McDaniels. V8 might not be the shooter that Jaden McDaniels projects to be, but I like the defense and I like the rebounding ability. We're down to our last four teams, and I just want to quickly remind you what the team looks like in this exact moment. Zach Levine will start, but what the team looks like in this exact moment. I need somebody that comes off the bench to get buckets. It doesn't have to be in a very traditional sense. We don't have to go get Prime Lou Williams. But if you saw that team, they don't have anybody that can create for themselves. We need at least one create off the bench. Maybe the Rockets have it. Uh, but the problem is, the archetypes like that, they ain't cheap. You feel me? They ain't cheap at all. And you can see that. They don't even, they don't even have a person that fit that archetype. But they do have Jared Allen. But they do have Jared Allen. And I really like Jared Allen. Like, like really, really like Jared Allen. They give us Evan Lambert. I Yes! We got a new center, and now Giannis is back to his natural position at the four. So the new lineup would look like Shea, Zach Levine, Brandon Ingram, Giannis, and Jared Allen off the bench. We'd have Andre Drummond. We'd have Jared Vanderbilt. We have Herb Jones. We even have Luke Kennard now, who's probably going to be thrown in a different trade because he's making 14 million. And as you're probably uh, thinking about, I haven't thrown a lot of those trades into, or a lot of those picks into trades just yet. We're down to our last two teams, our last three teams. So let's see the order we're getting it in. It's Memphis. I'm just going to keep it spinning. We got Memphis, and I guess we should probably coin flip. It's Memphis and then the Sacramento Kings. I do want to say if you got to this video, I'm going to remind you to leave a like, man. You had to enjoy it to some extent, and I would appreciate it. It helps the channel grow, like legitimately helps the channel out a ton when you leave a like on it. Let's talk about the Grizz who have Josh Giddy, who's only making $6 million, and we have this Evan Lambert guy, but that's not enough. We have Luke Kennard. Are you interested in Luke Kennard? They got to make up $4 million if we throw them Luke Kennard. And they have Dennis Schroeder. And now they need an extra player. Oh, my God. I hate this back and forth. Okay. Contractually, this all makes sense. And now we throw them the picks. I said I needed somebody that could create off our bench. We got that in Josh Giddy. No, Josh Giddy is not necessarily a great creator for himself in this age, in this career. But if we talk about creating for others, come on, Josh Giddy can do that. Next one was the Sacramento Kings. Isaiah Stewart, maybe, will give you a first. All right. And then the last team was the Dallas Mavericks. We got, like, Jeremy Grant, who did get traded in real life today. Um, and this would give us the extra wing. I'd put him over to the three, add a trade exception. They want a first-round pick. Can we get more? Because we have more picks. Hold on. Can we get more than that? The answer is no. Okay. We can just leave it at that. We got Jeremy Grant to come to the team. They want an extra pick. I don't really care because this is the last trade of the video. All right, so let me go ahead and get everybody's positions right, and then we'll look at the overall rotations. The last year, bro, wow, we just did 29 trades. Think about that. We just did 29 trades. Shea Herb Jones. I'm going to have Zach Levine come off the bench. Shea Herb Jones, Brandon Ingram, Giannis, and Jared Allen. Then we have Zach Levine with Josh Giddy, with uh, Isaac Isaiah Stewart, with Jeremy Grant and Jared Vanderbilt. Whoa, what a roster, what a squad. Three P is underway. We lose the first game of the year. Trey Young gave us 50. I ain't worried about it. Let's simulate. Luca takes away the MVP from Giannis, so we don't get the triple crown, but we do get the defensive player of the year. And we'll, we'll take that, you know? I don't know how many games we won and lost. I kind of lost track. I wasn't really watching like that. Ben Simmons went and became an All-NBA player once we traded him away. We let him blossom and he opened his wings. We won 
uh, 66 games. The Timberwolves won 65, and they got coach of the year. So I feel kind of disrespected if I'm coach Michael Malone because they just saying that what you're doing is normal when the reality is not. We beat this team in last year's playoffs. I think it was the 8th seed, too. We're not worried. Like I said, unless you take two games away from me as the 8th seed, I'm not worried about you. Lonzo, Tyrese, Jason T Lonzo, Tyrese, Jason Tatum? That's a crazy top three. That's a crazy top three, bro. And though we got them... Oh, they made Zach Levine start, by the way. Though we got the beat on a few of those, that's a really good team. Beat them by a ton, though. Are they not going to put up a fight? Are we going to beat them by 20 plus every game? Okay, they take a game. Okay. Okay. Nope, 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 nope. This is not, this is not what we're doing. This is not what we're doing. Okay, Jared Allen is upset for some reason. I, he's, tr he's, he's, tr I am triggered, triggered with things, right? Why? What, what exactly is happening in this organization that gets you so triggered? Yeah, just blow these boys out, please. Oh, that's a big second quarter for them. But the guys come out and they win, it looks like. Yeah, okay. What are you, what's so triggering about us being in the conference finals, you being the starting center? Oh, you got to go against Jokic. All of that go to the side. I don't care what you're saying. Go defend Jokic. Game one, we win. And Jokic has a triple-double. <laughs> game two, we win. All right, you're not going to stop Jokic. Oh, that's a that's a really good stop in Jokic game. Game three, game four, we don't sweep. But we get out of there to go against the Raps, who have Cameron Payne and Kobe White. Not worried about them. I thought this was a rebuilding team. Remember, we landed on them, and I was like, oh, they ain't got nothing. Kevin Durant is put on that hard carry, but they don't have enough. KD probably gave it his all. Yeah, he was giving it his all, but it was not enough. And just like that, we do a 3 P while simultaneously making 29 trades. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and come back tomorrow around the same time, because there will be another banger. I'll see y'all then. Peace.